Today in the Boot Guy, we are looking at the Mustino by Eret. Now I'm going to refer to the Mistino as a dress western boot. If you think I'm wrong in my description of this, please comment below and let me know where I'm wrong in that thinking. So starting out, the one thing I got to mention is just the craftsmanship in this thing. It is amazing and it is flawless. It has the hand of the artist that built it all through the boot. All the stitching, all the triple stitching, all the double stitching, all this hand embroidery is outstanding and beautiful. Now I call this thing a dress boot because it comes armed with this beautiful leather sole. So the sole is called a butyl leather sole. Now most of the time when we think of leather soles we think of zero traction but something that I found in this sole that is really amazing is though it is slippery and is much more slippery than the Duratread sole, the sole that comes on some of the other Western styles from Eric with the, the rubber pads on and whatnot. And you're going to expect the leather sole to be a little bit more slippery. But the process that they use in order to make this leather sole, this butyl sole, soaking the leathers in oil, curing the leathers, and by doing that they seal all the pores inside the leather. So they make this thing much more water resistant and much more durable without losing any of the flexibility of the boot. Now most of the time in western boots with leather soles, until you get them really broken in, they don't have a lot of flex. I got probably, I don't know, maybe a week in this thing and I'm already, this thing is broken into my foot. Now for the heel, they use the Duratread rubber on the heel and that pretty much has been my saving grace with the leather sole that I at least have something that's kind of grippy that I can maneuver on. Because of the way I walk and because of how much I do walk, I need some sort of leather there just for slowing down and stopping and just for a little bit more traction going up and down stairs. Now it's a full 13 inch shaft, fully leather lined all the way through the tip of the boot. So that means in that warmer weather, this thing's going to be great. It's going to breathe with you. All the heat and everything you create inside the boot is going to go right to the surface. You're going to have a cooler, more comfortable foot in really warm weather. Now as for a shank, they are using an ATS shank and I've spoken about ATS before in other air reviews. It's a beautiful fork type shank. Now something that's really nice about using the ATS shank in this butyl sole is that classically with a leather sole they use a steel shank. Now the ATS gives you so much more support and just so much more flexibility than a steel shank would. Now, that's one of those points I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to argue with me about, and please do. In the comments section below, if you feel I'm wrong, if you don't like the ATS shank, if you don't think that having that in there gives you more support, please comment below about that. Now, the heel stack is a little bit lower than normal. It's closer to what you would consider a ropers type heel. The whole shape of the boot is just a little bit more lower profile than what we're used to seeing. Now, inside the boot is not your classic leather insole. Eret sends along an ATS insole with the square toe. Now, with this insole, you're getting an arch support. You're getting heel gelled heel cushions and gel in the ball of the foot. But what's most important and what you really notice is that when you have the insole inside the boot, that it just adds to the level of comfort. Now about the size and the fit, well, no problem breaking them in. They weren't extremely tight anywhere, though they were snug and they should be snug. They're pull-on boots. You want, you want parts of them to be snug. You want parts of them to be kind of loose until this boot really breaks down and fits your foot, your heel cup, and your toes. It should feel a little odd and maybe different, but you give it enough time with this much beautiful leather and this much craftsmanship added to the boot, it's going to become part of you. Now the square toe design that they use is kind of narrow. It's kind of tight right in through here. And that's one thing you are going to feel. And this is actually something that I did like. Though it was a little uncomfortable the first few hours, 
after it kind of softened up and it started taking on shapes of my toes inside there and just the whole shape of my foot, I realized that this is what a dress western boot should feel like. It shouldn't feel like a pair of my work pull-ons and it shouldn't feel like a pair of my riding pull-ons. That this should have a different type of feel to it. And I truly feel that it does. Now, I didn't find the boot to be all that heavy. It's only coming in at 3.6 pounds. Now, as some of the other work pull-ons, like the Work Hog or something, with that dual-density, heavy-duty rubber sole, and just the other linings that are built into it, they're going to come in a little bit heavier. But this, coming in at 3.6 pounds. <laughs> So that's the Messino, a full 13 inch shaft, fully leather lined all the way to the tip of the toe with a beautiful ATS insole and this amazing sole. Hey, if you've ever worn a Western boot with a butyl sole or even a dress shoe with a butyl sole, please comment below. Let guys know what you think about the durability and the flexibility and just the whole process of the sole. Hey, if you want to know more about the Messina or just more about the butyl sole, please check out thebootguy.com. There I'll have some detailed photos of the boot. I'll have more information about the sole and I'll even have a link or two that'll make it a bit easier getting a pair of these on your feet. Please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. And if you're interested, you can always follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Hey, if you're about to pick up a pair of these, if you're about to order a pair of these online and you're just not sure about your size, shoot me over an email. Maybe we can figure it out together about your right length and width that you need in a boot and whether or not this type of sole is going to work for you. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.